Hello, my name is George Prince, as you all know, Prince's Photography Studio. I also perform many drone, drone jobs as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to review what is inside this bag. And what is inside this bag is the DJI Avata. So here is the DJI Avata, and we are going to review it. I have it in this bag, got my controller here, the drones are here, my goggles are here, it's got the insert in here to make sure that no sun gets in there, and we're going to review this today. All right, here you have your hand controller right here. Here's a DJI Avanta with a battery. Here's the uh, FPV controller. Here we have two additional batteries. Here's the battery that goes to the new goggles. And uh, this is something I have been looking for for a while. It is a very controlled uh, Cinewhoop for those uh, I have one and you've seen it in my videos before the one I've built and it's reasonably good and reasonably happy with it But the amount of control that I'll be able to get out of this For those close quarter situations are what I'm looking for out of here. So let's get started First of all we have the goggles here and yes, there is Sun behind me. You don't want to get the goggles in the Sun I have this protector over here. This protector came with it, which is really handy. I take my glasses off. We have adjustable diopters here, and uh, to be able to position them to your face. It took a bit of time to adjust it for mine, um, but once you do it, it should be pretty good. Not to say they couldn't have done that slightly better because you do see a little crossover in the middle. So here I have the controller. I know it comes with the other controller, but I bound this one. I got this one off of Facebook Marketplace because I knew I would want this instead of the other one. I'm going to try the other one out. But I'm going to start with this one. Since I am most familiar with it, being an FPV pilot, and here's a drone, I'm going to power it up, double tap, and long press starts this up. Here you go. See how small and compact it is? Very small. So I'm going to put this down over here. Now, one thing I do see, again, could be fixed by a firmware update later, is that I have to bind this or rebind this to the Avata each time I start it up. Yep, and just like that, it's all bound. And then you're ready to uh, fly. One way you can test to see if you have control is that you, this little butt roller wheel here, you can see if you move the camera up and down, if you've got control there, link is established. Also the lights on the side here, or in the middle here. So well, we're going to fly it with this today. Sorry about the focus there. And now we're going to put our goggles on. And make sure that everything is aligned or hasn't moved. You can lock these diopters in with these uh, little locking wheels here. So it says we're near an airport. We know that. Let me see if I'm in. So I'll we'll just press OK. Little tap. We confirm. Oh, this is a beautiful picture right here. Amazing. And I'm just gonna stick this in my pocket here. Alright, everything looks like it's ready to go. Got a good battery power, everything. So gonna make sure that I'm uh still here in the uh audio here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off now and I'll tell you when it's recording. In fact, I guess I could go ahead and record now. Let's see. Three, two, one. We are recording now. All right, we're gonna put these sticks together like this. 
you hear the motors running. See, and then we put it to stick down and then it stops. All right, recording has stopped. So I'll tell you when it begins again. All right, recording has begun. So I'm going to move your move this down here. Where is it? There we go. Focus. All right, now we're going to take off. We are recording. I definitely do experience some light leaks around the edges. However, the concentrate from the middle. Alright. We are going to start off in normal mode. Let my fingers off the stick. I can say this is normal mode. Pushing the uh, the right, the left one to do a, an orbit here. See, there I am. Going to go forward with the left, with the right stick. Put a little bit in, input to the left stick. It takes a bit of getting used to on these goggles here, but the image is extremely good. I'm going to sit here next to the to my camera here, so I have optimum audio quality. You probably still hear it out in the distance. It is actually fairly fairly loud. Not any louder than my other cine whips are. I'm going to make sure I have my antennas extended. Two taps on my menu to make it go away because I accidentally touched it. You can lock it, which I could do. Alright, my antennas are fully extended now. So basically this just is flying like a normal DJI drone would be. I have to get used to the kind of perspective these goggles are showing me. It's not that I don't know how to fly a normal DJI quad, because I've been doing it for a while, but this is a new one. So you see the home point there? That's the home point in which I took off from, which is right where I'm sitting. So right now we have 16 minutes still left on the battery here, which is honestly a ridiculous amount of time. I'm going to go a little lower. So it, this is obviously relatively slow. Like I say, this is just normal, normal mode. Getting used to this. This is, uh, it has no, uh, It has no ND filters on. Apologies, I simply don't have them. This just came this week. And I did get the fly more kit, so I can practice with batteries around here. So let's see what we can do. Nice. All right, I'm going to go into sports mode, which so will flick a little switch here.
Okay, we are in sports mode. We are hovering here. We are now going over to this box thing. Getting a little confidence in here. Like I say, I'm not in manual mode. I'm in sports mode. It actually moves along pretty well. We are recording in both the goggles and both in the goggles and in the Avata. What this is for is really low flying operations. The OLED displays and these goggles are really nice. So we're going over here. I love the steadiness of this thing. This this is really what it's for, and this is what I'm looking for as well. We'll go behind this building and see how we are on our on our signal strength here. 41, 42 megabits. Didn't even bother. Apologies, we're shooting into the sun, but I have some obstacles over here I want to go through that I had issues with uh, with the uh, oh they're not over here anymore huh okay. We'll see what we can do over here. We are at 2 minutes and 35 seconds recording this second clip. We're going over here. We went over here to find out they had some obstacle, some kind of things set up here, but here we want to go through here. Very nice, very controlled. Now, I will later do a. What is this thing? Oh, it's a cone. But this, this is really good. I love it how it maintains the proper height above the crown, which is, like I say, it's auto. It's, you know, like in sports, it's not full manual. And that kind of helps a lot. These are the things, well, there was a, a bunch of hoops over here. But we can use this for the moment. Go down. Turn. And just move right out of it. Move around like this. Very nice. Oh, I see a gap here. Oh, yeah. You know it. up the shot. Sports mode. Yeho! Full throttle. Oh, this is amazing. Talk about those low down shots. This is crazy. For a Cinewhoop, I actually like it in, in uh... I like it in uh... in sports mode. All right, we're going to come to a gentle flow. Here 
here I am. Hey there. All right, there we go. Motors are stopped. Recording has stopped. Let's go and double check to make sure that this is still recording. It is. Come over here and get a nice shot of where I landed. Very nice. For our first battery, our first flight, I am very pleased with this. Now this is a wide open area. I understand that this is a wide open area, but that's where you should try out your uh, newly built, or in this case, a newly acquired or bought quad, so you can have no obstructions, and then you can get into the smaller areas and everything. But I'm I'm very pleased with this for what I want to use it for, which is very controlled, very close proximity flying like a Cine Whoop is. Like I say, I, I've flown Cine Whoops. I'm an FPV fly I I fly the five inch, seven inches, ten inches. But I've always had this little hankering for a bit more control uh, for close work around people, around an event or uh, going in containers or in among things like that. I've never had that total confidence and this this is going to fill that requirement. And, uh, and it also has a long battery life. I think I got 16 minutes out of there. But like I say, wasn't doing sports mode all the time, but having the ability for it to maintain the height above the ground, even if you're going fast, is uh, takes a lot of workload off of you. Now I can do that in my other Cinewhoops, but if you don't have to worry about that, uh, and you can concentrate on being able to get through small areas and everything, makes it a lot better. Uh, like I say, not to say that I can't maintain the height, but having it, it doing it automatically makes that workload just a little bit easier. And, uh, and you can be able to have a lot more confidence going through areas that you need to.